All right, writers. So this is my second small moment story, the one about the pasta that I hated and stuck under the table. So I'm going to go through it. And I noticed I already added internal thinking in a couple places. Let me show you right here. Oh, no, I thought. I really want dessert, but this is icky. So I was adding what I was thinking in my mind. And look at what I did. I put quotation marks. Any thoughts, anything that's going on in your head, you put quotation marks in front of and behind. Oh, no, I thought. I don't put it around here because that wasn't in my head. But this was in my head. I really want dessert, but this is icky. So I closed those off with quotation marks too. All right. And then on the next page, I also, oh, I'm sorry, not on this next page, this page, when my mom told me that there was still a lot on my plate and I couldn't have dessert, I added more internal thinking. Rats, I thought, what can I do with this stuff? So again, you put quotation marks around the thoughts that are in the character's head. That's how the reader knows that it's an internal thinking right here and right here. These are all the words that I was thinking. So I put it around rats because I was thinking that, but I don't put it around I thought because I, did, I, I didn't think, oh, I thought. That's just me describing it as a writer. What can I do with this stuff was also in my head. So you can see I added quotation marks here and here. So I did think of another place that I could add internal thinking. And it was this page after I learned that I could glue the fettuccine Alfredo underneath the table. So right here, it worked bit by bit, one noodle worm at a time. I glued all of it under the table. And I totally remember what I was thinking. Do you know what I was thinking? I was laughing in my head like, ah, <laughs> like I was so happy. I was happy in my head because I had made it work and I was going to have dessert because I was four years old and that's the kind of thing four-year-olds worry about. So let's see how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to add he, 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 I thought. So I'll write the words first. He, I'm doing it like that. He, he, he. I thought, okay, now let's see, where am I going to put quotation marks around? Well, I'm not going to, we already talked about this. I'm not going to put them around. I thought only going to put them around the words that I was thinking. And I was thinking he, he, he. So I do some quotation marks here and remember quotation marks go in the air like that. And then quotation marks also go in the air like this, they kind of close it and they sort of they, they sort of hug the words. So quotation marks go this way in the beginning and this way at the end. Remember, quotation marks kind of hug the words and they're up in the air, not on the ground. He, 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 I thought. Now it's your turn, writers. I want you to go back through either one or any one of the small moments that you've written so far. And I want you to see if you can help the reader get to know your character by adding internal thinking, which is just what was the character thinking?